Hey guys, I'm Erin Poppy and I'm here on, today on behalf of the Collegian. We are here experiencing float therapy for the first time at Float Kansas. The process of floating is pretty simple. Um, you go in there, you float, and you do it in an environment that reduces your stimuli or your sensory input. The water is heated to 92.5 to 93.5 degrees, which is your external skin temperature, so you quickly blend into the water. Um, which creates a really cool feeling. It's pitch black in there if you choose. There's a light that you can turn on and off. And when all of this happens and you lose your sensory input, uh, some cool things can happen with your brain waves and the, function, the functionality of your brain. You get to experience theta waves and alpha waves naturally in the flow tank. You are experiencing nothing. And it's true, uh, nothingness can be more than what it sounds, I guess, or more profound than what it sounds. And uh, visuals are a thing that can happen in the float tank. And when you're in there, uh, you can get a slight sense of vertigo, uh, not in an overwhelming way, uh, to the point where you're almost, it almost feels like you're standing up in there while floating. The reason I got into it was, I'm, I'm actually a newbie to the whole mindfulness meditation stuff, but I've been, tr I've had been trying to make a big effort this summer to get more uh, involved in that and um, meditation was going great uh, I wanted to go deeper though and I, I heard you could in a float tank so I floated and, and meanwhile I'm also thinking why isn't there one up here in Manhattan or Lawrence area and, and so I kind of have it in the background or in, in the back of my head to maybe open one up and I finally went and investigated and floated myself in Wichita and it was profound it was awesome I really enjoyed it it really like did something good for me and that's when I decided I was gonna pull the trigger on it and, and um, bring one to Manhattan uh, I really wanted to make sure one was available uh, to the soldiers at Fort Riley the students at K-State and anyone else in the Northeast area that was wanting to float it's been known to alleviate anxiety uh, depression uh, for military personnel, it's helped uh, relieve PTSD. For me personally, however, I want to experience float therapy for kind of a bunch of different reasons. One, I have this really bad soreness in my neck that I kind of want to get rid of. And also, um, I've always kind of struggled with anxiety. So over the years, I've been trying to find new and different ways of dealing with that. Students, um just as much as anybody are experiencing a ridiculous amount of stress and pressure uh, with the daily grind of being a student. Uh, it gets overwhelming at times and uh, there are probably weeks or months that go by where students don't even realize that they haven't stopped. Stop to do nothing. Uh, the float tank uh, provides an atmosphere for you to completely rid yourself of any of that and uh, try to get your mind out of maybe a cycle of anxiety or procrastination due to schoolwork and maybe the stress that comes along with it. Um, a little brain reboot is a good way to put it, I guess. Army um, and military uh, have been using this as well. Uh, I've had a number of people with PTSD that have used this and there are a number of people with PTSD that are using these all around America with significant results. It's been cool to hear the post-float um, testimonies afterwards. That's my favorite part of this job, just talking to people. I'm just really excited to try out something new and I really hope that my experience with float therapy will encourage other students or people who are struggling with any of the things I listed earlier um, to give float therapy a try. very first thought was I am floating in 10 inches of water <laughs> and it really didn't feel like it. You just kind of feel weightless whether you want to say you're like floating in the Dead Sea or you're in a space station. Um, you just don't, you aren't pulled down by gravity which makes it easier for your mind to kind of let go of whatever is holding it down to. At first, I was a little bit apprehensive, a little bit nervous. I hadn't done anything like that before, but I was needing to relax. And I walked in, immediately kind of felt at ease after he explained everything. And 
took my shower, got in, and just kind of let myself go. It was no other experience <laughs> that's been like that. I had this moment where it was like I was looking up at the night sky, and it sounds really cheesy, but I thought I saw a shooting star. <laughs> I almost think it's because one of my favorite things to do is just lay around and look up at stars. So it was almost kind of like a comfort thing or relaxing. My mind already knew what visuals comforted me. So I just kind of jumped over to that. Once I kind of felt my mind calm down, I could let my body calm down and then slowly just different parts of my body began relaxing and then I totally let go and then my brain was that was racing just kind of got this streamline of consciousness like there was nothing nothing that really mattered other than just my conscious state in, in that very moment. When you get in a float tank it offers you an atmosphere where you can just kind of slow down shut that inner voice off for a second and um, bring some happiness into your life. It's almost like I'm recharged there's no more stress, I'm just ready to tackle whatever I need to do for the rest of the day. And it's just almost like you feel centered. Whereas you felt weightless in there, it's kind of like a good pull down back to earth once you get out of it. What really stuck out was just the, just the loss of worry. I, I wasn't worried about what I had to do the next day wasn't worried about what I did earlier in the day. I was just there and totally present in myself. And afterwards, I just, I basically just felt like a new person. I think it's something that, while you have the opportunity to, just try it at least once. If you're skeptical, all I have to say is uh, get in the tank, try it yourself, see what happens. Um, it's been incredible, uh, the amount of people that have really found some benefit from this. So.